Hey guys, Matt here. I want to go ahead and do another video today, and this video is going to be on the latest version of Malwarebytes. Uh, a few weeks ago, they updated their interface. It looks a lot better. And uh, I want to go ahead and see if uh, Malwarebytes can get this computer running somewhat normal. Uh, right now, I'm in, did a, I did a Google search for shoes. Um, you can see we have tons of ads that popped up here. Um, the browser kind of locked up a little bit. Uh, ads here, ads down here, and if I try to go to a legit site like shoes.com, let's see what happens. So we're able to get to the site, but we still have a lot of ads um, popping up over on the right. The browser is super slow. We've got ads over here now. Uh, ads at the bottom, hot link text. It's just a complete mess. And we want to see if Malwarebytes can get us working again to where we can use the internet. So we'll go ahead and close that. We've got some kind of website popping up here. Is your PC running slow or displaying unwanted ads? Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> All right, we'll close that. All right, we are going to use Malwarebytes 2.1.4.1018. Uh, and we are going to install it in trial mode. I highly recommend everybody out there to buy Malwarebytes Premium. It's like 25 bucks for three computers a year. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's a really, really effective protection, and it's cheap. So why wouldn't you? You can run it alongside any antivirus, no problem. All right, let's go through the setup. So one of the first things I do when working with an infected infected computer is to install mal Malwarebytes in trial mode uh, just because it has that on access that real-time scanner that's constantly looking at things in the background um, and blocking them if need be. So it takes a look at your file system traffic or activity and then it takes a look at your web web activity and it can block you know certain malicious processes from doing things on the internet, um, doing things to your your files on your computer, it's very handy. Uh, and that's when you install in trial mode or you buy the actual premium uh, license. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second. Okay, it's going to go ahead and check for an update. You can see the malware and malicious website protection are, are enabled, so real-time protection is enabled. And we'll just do one more update just for the heck of it. All right. Let's go ahead and do a custom scan, just like with all our other programs we worked with uh, this week. We will uh, do a, like, like a full scan. So I'm not going to scan for archives. Those are just not really necessary um, for this for this demo. Uh, you can see it's already finding stuff. And we'll go ahead and select C. And treat detections as malware. Um, treats, uh, oh yeah, treats pups as malware and pums as malware. So potentially unwanted programs and potentially unwanted modifications. And let's go ahead and scan now. So that's the new little scan screen. I uh, like the way it looks. Gives you an idea of what's going on. So we'll just go ahead and let that scan and see uh, what it comes back with. Okay, that took a while, especially when you want to go out to eat. I'm sitting here waiting for this thing. Um, okay, it found... Wow. 265 identified threats. Um, just everything under the sun there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and say remove selected. We'll say finish, or it's going through and doing that now. 
It was 46 minutes to do that scan. That was a full, complete scan. Uh, and Malwarebytes almost always has you reboot, uh, no matter what, which is fine. Okay, yep, want us to reboot, so we'll go ahead and reboot now. Okay, the PC's booted back up, Mart's continuing to boot back up. Just gonna give it a few sucks here. Our PC has been sped up now that most of that uh, malware has been removed. Let's go ahead and do that same search and see what we get. Uh, Google has been returned as our homepage. That's nice. We didn't have to do anything. It was just gone, you know, taken care of. All right, still got a lot of adware in the browser. They um, didn't get that. Uh, if I click shoes, we go to shoes.com. No redirection. Um, still got all this adware. So. Pretty much the same result as we saw with MSISoft. Uh, just a lot of these, uh, um, a lot of this adware is uh, just not recognized by these programs and uh, must be removed via other means. Uh, so this was powered by Genius Box. Uh, same thing, Genius Box. Now we don't have nearly the same amount of adware as we had before. Um, it just missed that Genius Box thing. So. And taking this a, a couple steps further, how would you get rid of something like that? Well, it's really easy, actually. Typically, it is. You just go to your control panel, uninstall program. While these programs are annoying, they usually come with uninstallers. Uh, we'll see if this one does. And I do not see anything that says Genius Box here. It might be associated with one of these files. Um, it's tough to say. But uh, anyway, that's that's where we stand uh, right now with Malwarebytes. Uh, it, um, I was expecting a little more, honestly. I thought that it would take care of everything. Let me make. Let me go through. Uh, yeah, but we already when I went to scan, we scanned for rootkits, so that's good. Um, no, nothing that really, no, no, that's it. Hmm, I really expected it to get rid of, like, things like this, um, and that adware, but... Your registry scan is completed. Click fix now to resolve these problems. Thanks, babe. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and stop this and upload it. I'll talk to you guys later.